Okay, so our cribbing is really, really horrible. Uh, it's, uh, we're gonna make some new cribbing right now. I, the, the guys from Lucas uh, sent me an email uh, and with some drawings on how to make uh, a ramp system so you don't have to lift these logs up. It was, it's really simple and I, uh, I probably should take the time and do it right now, but I, I, I don't, we're kind of at a time crunch. So we're gonna cut a big sleeper. We're gonna cut two big six by eights and get rid of these wiggly ones. Um, and then we'll just nail a two by four on there. I think if we're really slow and careful, maybe these things won't yeah. want, it, won't want it so much. There. Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay, chalk them. Okay. Yeah, I'll be glad to get rid of these. Yep. It is going well. Slower, it saves his time at the back end. I like it. I like it. I like it. That's it. Yeah. Okay, we're on one. Okay, good. Come get the side. We're still looking good over here. It's trying to go on us. Okay. Oh, we're close there. I'm going to straighten this one out here. If it didn't flop off. Okay. It's sure trying to. Um. So what happened uh, was the guard um, had the guard set a little bit too low. It's supposed to be center center line of the blade, and it was hanging up a little bit. Looks better. Using my favorite bolt rounders here. <laughs> You work with what you got. So there was a, a couple guys that were confused about my comment and the of that you were using one metric and one standard crescent wrench. Eric, remember that? I heard that. Um, you have anything to say towards that? I laugh a little bit. Yeah, adjustable wrench is uh, not the best tool for every job. Some would argue for any job. <laughs> Tool, toolbox in a all in one, huh? Okay, let's see if that clears. So as we were cutting, I think maybe that guard slipped down, um, and the and the guard was was hitting. It wasn't allowing the carriage to come forward. So we raised that guard up. Now it's gonna see how it clears. There's actually a step right there. So that was a little user error. All right, I think it'll cut now. I'd imagine if I don't leave them out for the winter a long time. Okay. Oh, 
on camera. <laughs> it's the finish hammer's fault, right? I blame the hammer. Okay. I gotta draw the other side or you're not worried? Yeah, I'll have to have you help guide me on that. Because it's uh, kind of a crude instrument. Yeah. Uh, here you go. Oh! Bad angle. As far as we can go. Uh, without tipping. Hold that for one sec, I'll move this one. You know, let's put this one on top of it, because I'm going to need you over here to help me guide the bar. So if we can rest the weight of that on top of here, it'll keep it from... Put this right on top of there. I'll keep it flipping up on me. Oh, okay, so you don't want my weight on this. You want me to see... Yeah, I, what I need you to do is to be here. I'm going to Because I can see my line, I can't see the other one. So you're going to tell me if, if I need to up, up or down. Oh, uh, they're both terrible. Oh, it's it's great. Work. Great. So much better than what we had. All right. Good rid riddance to the wobbly old <laughs> cribbing. Is there a bad? Did you film these? Jeez, I, I made these when the mill was coming. I was telling Eric, and, and my idea was I, I put I built them really fancy, and I notched all this out. This was the idea. I was going to put these guys on there, uh, but it didn't work this out. This is used. Yeah. This is going to go in your firewood pile. Yes, sir. Tell me those are fit on a standard 2x4. That's not what I'm looking at. I don't think they do. Metric. Oh, it's the metric system. Not sure if you're aware of this, uh, Eric, but the metric system is is uh, always a sore, sore subject with me, <laughs> uh, not growing up in metric country. And once again, just to prove my point, the metric system obviously has has made our life more difficult by not allowing the clamp to fit on a standard uh, two by four. So Eric had the great idea to take these guys off of here and which now they fit perfectly. So metric system zero, American system one. <laughs> okay, so I think this is gonna work a lot better. We have a, a three and a half foot uh, ramp uh, and then we decided to go ahead and put the two by four on there because I do like to use those clamps. They're, they're really handy. They're made out of aluminum so uh, if you do accidentally hit them with the blade, uh, that it won't destroy the carbide teeth on the blade. So that, that's a, I, I like these, I, I've, I thought they were a great design. So that's what we came up with. So hopefully this will make our job a whole lot easier. Yeah, Harris. What a difference. I think we can get that that big log on here. Yeah. With this setup. Yeah. And look how easy it moves. Lovely. We got these nice shiny 2x4s underneath it too. Yeah, they're slippery. They are slippery. All right. Shiny Thanks, Warren. <laughs> Yeah. Where is the one that sent me the drawing? All right, this is officially the new method. This is so if you if you want to do this or run one of these mills, man, build these. That three and a half foot ramp is just right. Even with this great big log, that was a fraction of the effort that we were putting into the other ones, and no one ran the risk of getting crushed. 
Okay, we'll line it up and we'll uh, we'll get some timbers out of this one here too.